Ooh, so here we have a nice acid base reaction with a seven marker coming our way. I will split these up onto different pages, but let's just read. A certain volume of, now I'll be honest, these, these acid base questions, they do give learners trauma, but there's usually a specific way, not a specific way, but um, usually there's a specific place where you start and it's usually easy to find that place and then you just go from there, okay? Just follow me and see, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. A certain volume of hydrochloric acid of concentration, this is added to a sample of seashells of eight grams, okay? The hydrochloric acid completely reacts with the calcium carbonate, okay? So the HCl gets used up completely um, according to the balanced equation. Okay, so we've got some, now think about this carefully. You've got some seashells, okay? Now, those seashells contain, so there's your seashells. Now, some of that, they said the seashell contains 95%. So 95% of the seashell is CaCO3, and the other 5% is just, uh, I don't know, other stuff. Okay, so that is your seashell altogether. There's a big seashell. Now, 95% of it is calcium carbonate, 5% of it is other stuff. Now, what they're gonna do is they're gonna add acid onto the seashell, okay? Now, remember, the other stuff doesn't do anything. It is the calcium carbonate that is going to do the reacting, okay? The calcium carbonate is what reacts, and we can see that over here, okay? So remember that this part here is not the whole seashell. That's just the CaCO3 in the seashell, okay? Now it says that the seashell contains 95% Calcium carbonate, okay. First question, is the reaction endothermic or exothermic? Well, that just has to do with this over here. You need to know this by theory. So when it's smaller than zero, that's exothermic. When it is larger than zero, when it's positive, that is endothermic. Okay, so you just gotta remember that. So this one would be exothermic. Now they say give a reason for your answer, so how did we know that? Well, we know that because delta H was smaller than zero. Okay, so this question says calculate the volume in centimeter cube of the hydrochloric acid that was was added to the sample inside the container. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have a container filled with seashells. Okay, how many seashells? Well, how much? Eight grams. Okay, but remember that not all of the, it's not the seashell that reacts with the acid, it's the calcium carbonate that is in the seashell. So remember that 95% of the seashell, 95% um, is calcium carbonate. Then they are gonna take some HCl, okay? And they are gonna throw that inside here. Okay. So what we can quickly go do is let's go see how much calcium carbonate we actually have. So we can just say, okay, we know that the seashell is eight grams. So oh, why do I keep doing that? So let's go work out what is 95% of eight. So you could just say 95% on your calculator, or you can say 95 over 100 multiplied by eight. And that's gonna give you 7.6 grams. Okay, so now check this out, guys. Look how easy this actually is, okay? So we know how much mass of calcium carbonate we have. As soon as you have mass, you can get moles. Once you have moles, you are in business. Because once you have moles, then you can get any one of the others by just using the mole ratio. Once we have the mole ratio, we can, well, once we get that, we can get the moles of HCl. Check here, we also know what the concentration of the HCl is. When you have moles and you have concentration, then you can work out volume. Hello, it's not that bad. So we are gonna say, um, okay, N equals to M over M, so we can get the moles of CaCO3. Now we need a periodic table. Okay, we could get a periodic table or I'll just help you out quickly. So calcium on the periodic table is 40. Um, carbon is 12. Oxygen is 16. So if you wanna get the molar mass of CaCO3, it's gonna be 40 plus 12 plus three times 
16, and that would be 100. So we could say the moles is going to be 7.6 over 100, and that would end up being 0 0.0. 0, 0 0.076 okay and that is um, calcium carbonate now what you do is you come to the reaction and you look at the ratio 1 to 2 so that's a, so 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 the CaCO3 to HCl is a 1 to 2 ratio so if we know that this is 0 0.076 and this is x. So you see how the HCl is double. So that means we'll multiply this by 2. So x would then be 0 0.076 multiplied by 2. Because over here, I haven't actually explained this part nicely before. This part here, you can actually just use cross multiplication. So multiply that there and multiply that there. And so you'd end up with 1x is equal to 0 0.076 multiplied by 2. And so x is equal to 0 0.152. Okay, so now we have the moles of HCl. Okay, so now we can use this formula. Um, C is equal to N over V. Because now we have the concentration of the HCl. 0 0.5. Um, and then the moles of HCl was 0 0.152, and then the volume is what we're trying to calculate. So just multiply this volume over to the left-hand side. I'm going to take this over here. So you would end up with 0 0.5 V equals to 0 0.152, and then if you get the volume by itself, you end up with 0 0.304 but that's in decimeters, but they want the answer in centimeters. So you multiply by 1,000, and so the volume would be 304 centimeter cubed.